Isaiah passage. Um, recall Isaiah with the poor, sitting with the poor, writing to the elite who are under oppression, trying to bring somehow a commonality in a nation. Okay? He just described the fast that God would choose. And then he writes, Then shall your light break forth like the dawn, and your healing shall spring up speedily. Your righteousness shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry, and he will say, Here I am. And that was the true desire of the exiles, that once again they would know from God God's presence was with them. It was going to happen by their sort of pleasure-seeking spirituality. And it wasn't going to happen through a divided nation. But the righteousness would break forth when both together, the rich and the poor, recognize their oneness and express their kinship. Let's conclude with uh, another litany and then George will sing us out. Let us pray. Ah, what beauty surrounds you, God. How happy are hearts warmed by your grace. Each word we speak or let it we write is a ray of your luminous light. Therefore, we pledge ourselves, cry aloud, do not hold back. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. By our voice we create a circle of protection around the poor. The sacrifices acceptable to you are simple deeds. Sharing with, standing by, advocating for the poor. By such deeds your realm increases on earth as in heaven. Therefore we step into your light. As we cry aloud, do not hold back. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. By our voice we create a circle of protection around the poor. Bless us now as we depart, prepared to work, confident in your calling, eager to trouble systems for good and to bring hope to the poor. We know what we must do, and we know that you will be with us. Confirm our intentions with your power so that as we cry aloud, as we do not hold back, but lift up our voice like a trumpet, by our, our voice we create a circle of protection around the world. Yeah. Uh-huh.